Right? Keep going, keep going. This is John from the Phoenix Society of Historical Swordsmanship. Just got some of the Thok gloves. Um, did a little bit of long sword, did a little bit of side sword, did a little bit of, a lot of rapier. Um, so far I really like them. Um, I'd say for the long sword, if you're going with intensity, you definitely want the little cover mitten-y type thing. Uh, I took a shot to the hand, it was, and it was, it was a very controlled, reasonable shot, but it stung a little bit. But I think for, you know, long sword or anything, maybe sword and buckler. I think you definitely want the mitten. Um, but I was impressed with the dexterity, how thin the palm is. This is an XL because of the inner glove. So I have kind of fatter hands but shorter fingers. So my fingers don't quite go all the way to the end of this, but the inner gloves, the caps are right at the tip of my fingers. So palm's nice and grippy. It feels surprisingly light and thin, more like a glove I'd use for rapier. Uh, bulk's not bad, just for reference. Here's a Viking sword that's kind of hard to get a grip on. I'm pretty happy with it. I'd probably use the mitten though. So I'd be fighting a heavier thing. Here is Cold Steel Rondell for reference. This is the XL. So the others might be a little more slim, but fits in. Polish Saber, plenty of dexterity. Nice. I like the cuff design. Uh, Long sword, of course, but I'd want the right here feels a little vulnerable. Uh, I mean, not bad if you're playing with friends. Uh, saber, I have military style saber, a little snug, a little tight, can't quite thumbs up grip, but I could hammer grip it and make it work. And I think this is the Kevetan saber. This one works pretty well. Actually, I got plenty of room in this. Thumb up even, but it'd be a little crammed, but pretty nice. So I'm excited to give them a try out, see how they do. I think for long sword or anything that's going to have a lot of power. Show the rapier. Oh, the rapier. Yeah. You skipped right over I it. I skipped right over the rapier, the coolest thing. <laughs> so rapier, I did a bunch of rapier versus long sword. I couldn't get two fingers in the top, so if that's your thing, you won't be happy about that. Thumb, I can kind of get on the back of the edge, which is where I tend to keep it. But, but plenty of room can do all of your cool rapier guards, throw your cuts. Yeah, like it. Like I said, um, pretty good glove. We'll see how it holds up. The inner gloves, uh, nice for getting dialed in. It's a little tough to get the glove in there. But overall, kind of a neat setup, and we'll see how it turns out.